Hey everybody, happy Friday, March 18th, 2022. And I don't know how long Zoe's gonna stay on my lap today. So I'm showing her up front here. She's the sister to Daisy. And she's about a year older than Daisy. And um, we got them in about 2011, I wanna say. And um, let me see, yeah, 2011. And so we've had them for about 10 going on 11 years. And I wouldn't say they're a true rescue kitty. Here, can you look, Zoe? Look up there. Yeah, there. Um, I wouldn't say they're true rescue kitties, but we did help friends that needed to rehome them um, during a time where they couldn't take their pets with them. And so I just want to thank Hannah's family for that because we're still in touch with them and close friends with Hannah. And she went to school with my son. And so it was on... They both have birthdays close um, within two or three parts, you know, weeks apart. And so um, it was this weekend, in fact, um, their 16th and, um, birthday parties that we got to meet and look at Zoe and Daisy. And we first took Daisy and then Zoe um, came along later. And as you can tell, she's not as much into the camera as Daisy is. But I just wanted to introduce both of them. And I hope that um, you guys enjoyed seeing Daisy the other day. Oh, she's gonna talk now, okay, there you go. She made it a little longer than I thought she would. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing Daisy and Zoe and that you gave your fur babies a special hug and a kiss after seeing that. And there are so many rescue kitties out there, dogs, cats, pets in general, that if you decide that you might wanna bring a new um, family member into your house, you would consider, um, adopting a rescue um, pet. So I hope you guys all had a good uh, St. Patrick's Day. I'm kind of still wearing some green. I don't think I wore green yesterday because, oh, well, I did, but I wasn't on with you guys. So um, I just kind of carried it through. And I'd be interested to hear what you guys did for St. Patrick's Day. Maybe you could share in the box below something fun, whether it was a low key or out. And I made a trip to the airport last night to pick up V and um, I couldn't believe how busy the airport was. I mean, it was like Christmas time. People were driving crazy and lines. And so I was just really surprised that on a Thursday night at 1030 at night, the airport was really busy. So it'll be fun to hear what everybody kind of did for St. Patrick's Day. And um, once again, if you have another fur baby, like I have two and I took two days to share, um, it would be great to hear about them and maybe share a picture or something fun, a memory about them. Zoe is like my little watchdog. I shared that Daisy's like my Zoom baby. She loves the camera. She loves to be in front of it. She loves the computer laptop. And if you're talking, it's even better. Um, but Zoe is definitely my little watchdog. She goes to the door. She, When she hears the doorbell ring or someone knock on the door or someone come to the door, she's there. She checks it out. In fact, even when I walk through the front door, she's at the door. Um, Daisy's just not her personality. Different personality, gotta love them, just like we all have different personalities. But they are sisters, just from two different litters. And so that was fun that they got to stay together when we adopted them so many years ago. Um, so I guess that's all I have to share with you guys today. It's kind of a short day, just to bring on our dedication to our other family members and I hope you have a great weekend. I'll be back here on Monday. Enjoy the journey, be empowered, live on purpose and thank you once again if I didn't say that in the beginning for joining me. I am Coach Mona with Journey of Purpose Life Coaching. Thank you and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.